Good afternoon all, Camelback Trading all coming to you this Wednesday afternoon, March 23rd, and we are looking at Window Traders Market Profile, SPY IWM and Triple Qs, and if yesterday was a very accommodating and readable day, today turned out to be totally the opposite. Had a good day, but basically what happened in the afternoon, I was kind of expecting most of the day instead of what happened early in the day. And I'll tell you what, though, I'm glad it did because it provided a great opportunity for me early. We go out, all three of us, with price probes to the downside today. Other than that, we have nothing to lean on. We have no afternoon rally high. We're only eight wide. So the reference points, again, are far and wide apart. Triple Qs end with an inside day. So that does not negate the one time framing up on the daily. So we're going to have to see what way they come out of the inside day tomorrow. Russell puts themselves into a four-day balance right here. The last four days, including today, and we put ourselves into a three-day balance. Monday's low is the low of it, and yesterday's high is the high of it. We'll go over it. Um, so this morning when we opened with lower value and everything, I, I, you know, I'm not surprised. I said it's going to be healthy for the market to pull back. And again, what happened today, I'm still not, it, it's fine. But after what A did and then B attempting to go lower, I did not expect it to do what it did early. But it provided a great opportunity, especially in B period. So in A period, I did take a long the first time against the 200-day moving average twice, the 445 calls, which worked out because uh, both times we uh, held it and got back above it the when I did it. Then I shorted um, A towards the uh, towards the opening the 449s when B open and couldn't take out the day's low and went up I started a small short I'm like let's test the open I said I don't care if it takes out the day's high because I'm looking for a short and lo and behold it popped and I took a really nice 50 lot put play of the 448s right at the high and I had another 50 lined up if we went just a little higher and we didn't came in and had by far the best trade of the day for me. Um, D period. Now again, you could have shorted, and I kept telling the room, be careful buying up here. There's no tempo, no nothing. The buyers are not getting paid. So I shorted D again, the 450 puts. Um, you could have done it, B, C, D, E. F popped the top, and then absolutely got rejected for a reversal bar, and we never saw it again. So even though we took out the IB high in C, we still had lower value on the day. We had taken out the overnight low already. So with this pure rejection up there, things got pretty interesting um, then in the afternoon because basically what we did in the afternoon, I thought we would do it all day. So this just provided a nice opportunity to make some money on a very nice short. I did do some very small longs throughout the afternoon in G, H, and L. Uh, G the first time uh, against the 200-day um, moving average, which paid me. H against uh, the days when the, when we went down and stuff. I'm like, we're not getting any tempo or volume. Took a small one. And then in J, I was like, I think we, we're not getting much. They can't go trend. So maybe, just maybe, we popped the top. Took a small one again of the 445 calls. Uh, so it was a decent day, but a kind of a strange day. As far as the destinations, we have the price probe, which is Jay's low, 444.71. Then we don't have anything to today's high, 448.49. That's four dollars higher, friends. And then you should have uh, 448.94, 11 wide, which is now an upside destination from yesterday. And yesterday's high of 450.58. Downside, all we have is three daily lows, 443.71. Today's low, 440.68. Daily low, Monday's low, and 437.22, which is Friday's low. So very interesting how we do have price vacuums on both sides of the market. And then on the chart, so here's the daily. Look, I said it's. I have no problem what it did. We. I would have liked to have seen it come into balance above the 200. But again, one day... Yesterday was on the first day since February that we closed above it. Well, we closed below it again. Well, I'll get more concerned is if not only we take out today's low, but if we also take out Monday's low, because then that would put us 
back below the previous three week balance and then the 50 also. So if we trade inside of this range the next two days and come back up out of it, all that was was some consolidation after a nice six day run. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. Uh, enjoy your evening and we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.